I've been waiting for this day for seven years. Nintendo has finally confirmed the existence of their next console to be a Nintendo Switch successor. Now with the literal thousands of comments we've gotten asking what we'd call the channel, if Nintendo didn't continue with the Switch can at least be pushed back another six or so years. However, with so many different rumors surrounding the Nintendo Switch 2, obviously it could be called like the Super Switch or something, but I'm just calling it Nintendo Switch 2 for now. But this thing has gotten so many rumors and let's be honest, a lot of them are probably BS. But some of them come from very credible sources and still might be BS. But that's the beauty, we simply don't know. So in this video, I'm gonna round up every major update, rumor, and leak surrounding the Nintendo Switch 2 ever since it was officially revealed to exist. Think of this as a state of the union. I'm just gonna be going over everything that's important enough to get a mention, letting you know what it means for the Switch 2, and giving it a rating of how real I think these leaks are. And oh man, there's been a lot of them. Even some within 24 hours of when I'm recording this that are not just leaks about the console itself, but the game games that might launch with it. Such games even include brand new 3D Marios, and these leaks aren't from random 4chan people who are just anonymously shooting stuff out into the void. Almost every leak we're about to talk about comes from people with track records that are nearly spotless. So there's a decent chance that a fair amount of these are 100% accurate. So strap in and let's get started on everything we know about the Nintendo Switch 2. All right, so of course we have to start off with this tweet. Furukawa, the president of Nintendo, stated that they'll make an announcement to the successor of the Nintendo Switch within the this fiscal year. He also stated there will be a Nintendo Direct in June, but it'll strictly focus on the Nintendo Switch with no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor. Now, I've seen a lot of people coping, saying that, oh, it says it won't mention the Switch successor, but maybe they could tease a new game that'll launch with the Switch and just not mention it'll be a Switch 2 game, and let's keep it a stack. That ain't happening. The closest I could see is maybe something like Metroid Prime 4 getting a full reveal trailer, and it ends up being a Breath of the Wild situation. Breath of the Wild was a game we knew about for most of the Wii U's existence, but but we only started getting real details on it when the Wii U was mostly dead, leading to it launching both on the Wii U, but also as a launch title for the Nintendo Switch. I could see the same sort of thing happening here for Metroid Prime 4. We get a bunch of information, but it's not confirmed at all to be on the Switch 2, it just ends up being on the Switch 2. That's it, we're not gonna get a brand new 3D Mario shown off here, because they have to be saving big games like that for Switch 2. What we could get though is actually pretty interesting, but that's another rumor that we'll get to later in the video. Anyway, after this tweet came out, it seemed like the floodgates open. Tons of new rumors from very credible sources came out, and we're gonna start with this one by a leaker named Midori. Now, if you're not familiar with Midori, I couldn't blame you, as they're typically not a Nintendo leaker. However, they have been known to leak Sega and Atlas games to an extremely high degree of accuracy. Additionally, Pyoro, who's just undoubtedly the best and only really 100% reliable Nintendo leaker as of right now, not only follows Midori, but has replied corroborating with their tweets, as I'm about to show right now. First thing we need to take a look at is this tweet here from Centro Leaks stating that the codename for the new console seems to be Ounce. This has been corroborated by both Midori and Pyoro, with Midori stating that there's a project with the new codename Yu King O. It might be related to the rumors of the next Nintendo console's codename. Now, Yu King was the codename for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And if you remember, all the way back in 2023, during Gamescom, the Switch 2 was shown to a bunch of developers with a tech demo that included an enhanced 4K version of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, we never knew if this was just a tech demo meant to showcase the power to developers, but considering that Midori brings up this code name and Pyoro corroborates it by liking the tweet and replying here, Midori clarifies that the dash O at the end of Yu King O is extremely likely to point to an enhanced port of Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch 2. This lines up with the tech demo we've seen, is corroborated by the biggest Nintendo leaker right now. I think this is as close as it gets to being confirmed. I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 on the confirmation scale, and to be clear, the only reason this isn't a 5 out of 5 on the confirmation confirmation skill is because in order for something to reach a 5 out of 5, which we do have later in this video, it has to be directly confirmed by the company themselves. No matter how credible the leaker is, unless it's confirmed by the company, it won't get a 5 out of 5. Moving on from this Breath of the Wild 4K port, we have some information about the console itself, and these leaks come from customs and shipment data that Famaboards found. Again, this is about as confirmed as it gets. This isn't someone saying, oh, I work at the factory and this is what we got. This is the data of what was shipped to the factories that are supposedly making Switch 2. They're tracking shipments between component suppliers, NVIDIA, and Nintendo. And if you don't know, NVIDIA has worked closely with Nintendo in creating the original Nintendo Switch, with their Tegra X1 chip being the main SoC that the Switch uses. As for the leak itself, it's stating that the Switch 2 will have 12 gigabytes of RAM, which includes two 6 gigabit DDR5 modules. This is an insane step up from the 4 gigabytes that the base Nintendo Switch has, especially because that's 4 gigabytes of DDR4, rather than this new 12 gigabytes of the way faster DDR5. Additionally, it seems 
seems like we'll be getting 256 gigabytes of internal storage, which again is way bigger than the 32 gigabytes that come with the base switch. And apparently the consoles and maybe controllers too will include a built-in microphone, which to me seems that Nintendo might finally be doing away with requiring you to use your phone for party chat and we could actually have a decent party system built into Switch 2. I'm giving this leak once again a 4 out of 5 on the likelihood scale. I completely believe this. My full faith is in it because it's literally the shipment data between Nintendo, Nvidia, and other component suppliers. Like this is what is being shipped to the factory. So I mean it just it just makes sense. Next we have the first leak in this video which I believe is completely false. You might have heard this going around before. Apparently the Joy-Con are magnetic. There's some new information here from Vandal apparently compiled by Stealth 40k and Vandal mentions in this leak that accessory manufacturers which are the people who make like third-party controllers cases and whatnot have quote touched the new system but not actually looked at it. Okay let's just be so for real here. This sounds like BS. I guess I could see Nintendo doing this because they're obviously super productive about this sort of thing but seriously I mean wh what? Also the Joy-Con being magnetic again just doesn't really make sense. I feel like the rail system works. Like there are a lot bigger problems with the Joy-Con rather than the rail system failing. I don't know I give this one like a one or a two out of five on the likelihood scale. This one has a way higher degree to me of just being like we're gonna throw out some random guesses and just kind of try and get clout and get people talking. I don't know. Next thing we have here is Square Enix and this is the only five out of five in this entire video. As when Square Enix announced the significant company reboot because their profits were in a nosedive, they mentioned that they're gonna shift to a multi-platform strategy and aggressively pursue this strategy that includes quote Nintendo platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Saying Nintendo platforms here instead of Nintendo Switch kind of directly implies that they are going to be making stuff for the Switch's successor. They just outright said it. Obviously they can't say we're making stuff for Nintendo Switch too because then Nintendo would hate them. But without pissing off Nintendo, this is the closest they can get to confirming that they will be making the vast majority of their games available on Nintendo Switch 2. Five out of five, this is basically confirmed. I mean, Square Enix just outright said it. Before we move on to the next rumor, I just wanted to take a moment and say, if you're enjoying this video, hitting the like button or subscribing really helps a lot. I found that just honestly asking can be a lot more effective than flashing up a ton of graphs or, you know, begging for people to do it. All I mean to say is if you're enjoying the content and want to do something free to help us keep making this stuff, hitting the like button or subscribing just lets us know you're enjoying it. All right, thank you. Let's move on. Okay, next we have two huge rumors, once again from Midori, who again, seemingly has the backing of Pyoru, who has always been right when it comes to Nintendo stuff. They leaked two upcoming Mario games, which I think is super interesting. The first and smaller of these two rumors, in my opinion, is that a Nintendo game is in development with the codename Banquet. This codename already lines up with other Mario Party titles, but then Midori almost outright confirms it by saying that this is in development by ND Cube, a studio that has almost exclusively made Mario Parties for the past decade, and a developer known as Smile Boom. Now, we've made shorts and videos about Mario Party coming this year in the past, simply because Super Mario Party came out in 2018. Three years later, we got Mario Party Superstars, and this is three years after that. Additionally, Nintendo loves to put a Mario Party game out within the last year or so of their current system's lifespan. See games such as Mario Party the Top 100 for the 3DS and Mario Party 10 for the Wii U. I firmly believe that we'll get a new Mario Party game this year. It'll probably be announced in this June presentation. I believed it even before seeing this rumor, and now I believe it even more. Once again, I'm giving this a four out of five. And last but not least, this is the arguably biggest one. There is a game at Nintendo in development with the codename SP Red. Red is Mario's codename, as Midori also points out. And while it's obviously unclear what SP means, this is in all likelihood a brand new 3D Mario game. Additionally, Midori mentioned that there was a project at Nintendo with the title Silver Star. Super Mario Odyssey is Red Star. Given that Red is Mario's codename and Red is obviously not in Silver Star, the phrasing of it is also confusing. As Midori tweets this out, not as its own tweet, but as a response in the thread about SP Red, and he also mentions that there was a project at Nintendo. Not there is, and when asked for clarification, he says it's unknown what is happening with this project. This could mean that the project is already done, or that it's been shelved and is in development hell. We really don't know. However, realistically, even though Silver Star does not include Red, I could totally see Silver Star being a sequel to Red Star, which is Mario Odyssey. So if there's at least a spiritual successor to Mario Odyssey, it might not be Odyssey 2, but it's a new 3D Mario that was at one point in development, then what is SP Red? I'm not entirely sure, but my assumption would be that Silver Star morphed into SP Red as it kind of became its own thing. SP could very easily stand for special, as Nintendo has known to do that in the past, with the most notable example being the Game Boy Advance SP. It could also very easily stand for something like single player, but at that point, it's just pure conjecture. So for this whole Silver Star SP Red fiasco, I'm giving it a three out of five on the likelihood scale. I mean, I think it's probably correct, but it's not like there's really any groundbreaking information here. Nintendo 
was going to be working on a new 3D Mario. In all likelihood, it will launch with the Switch 2. Midori also has a thread talking about like network servers and that codename being P01, but that doesn't really mean anything. At least for us fans, it's like, oh, okay, so there's a rumor that Nintendo is going to have a network server for their new console. So yeah, those are all the rumors that I think are important enough to mention. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. We're not going to be covering too many rumors on this channel. There were just so many that I figured I'd put them all into one video rather than just making a bunch of separate videos. I think rumors are fun to talk about, but it's definitely not what we want to hang our hat on here at Switchtop. We have a ton of awesome original content on the channel, and it would mean a lot if you check that out as well. Click the video on screen right now to learn about the potential revival for the Mario and Luigi series. With that out of the way, I'm Thomas from the Switchtop signing off. Peace, guys.